Imagine waking up in a world where you are no longer the top predator. The ground trembles beneath your feet as a 14-ton T-Rex roars in the distance, its razor-sharp senses already locked onto you. The skies are filled with monstrous flying reptiles ready to swoop down at any moment. The oceans, home to giant sea beasts that make modern sharks look like guppies. There's no food, no shelter, and even the air itself is working against you. How long would a modern human survive in the Jurassic period? Stick around because we're about to break it all down, and trust me, it's not looking good. For 300,000 years, humans have overcome disasters, diseases, and even nuclear war, but drop us into the Jurassic era 200 million years ago, and we'd be nothing more than a snack. Forget what movies taught you. Dinosaurs weren't slow, dumb lizards. They were engineered by evolution to be perfect survival machines. They dominated the Earth for over 100 million years, far longer than humans have even existed. And it wasn't just dinosaurs that would make life a nightmare. The entire planet was a hostile, alien environment. The world looked completely different. The continents were still breaking apart, forming new oceans and mountains. The air was thicker, more humid, and had dangerously low oxygen levels, just 15% compared to today's 21%. That means within minutes of arriving, you'd start gasping for breath. If you tried running, you'd collapse from exhaustion before you even got a chance to escape. But let's say you somehow managed to adapt. Your biggest problem would still be the terrifying creatures around you. Let's start with the ultimate predators of the Jurassic period. And no, it's not just the T-Rex. Sure, the Tyrannosaurus Rex could run up to 45 miles per hour and had a bite force strong enough to crush bone, but it's far from the only nightmare roaming this world. Raptors were small, fast, and hunted in packs, meaning you wouldn't even hear them coming before they pounced. They had binocular vision, razor-sharp claws, and night vision, making them deadly in any environment. If you thought you could climb a tree to escape, think again. Raptors were agile, smart, and relentless hunters. If one saw you, the whole pack was coming. And it gets worse. Some of the deadliest dinosaurs weren't even the biggest ones. Dilophosaurus, the real-life version of the frilled predator from Jurassic Park, was a lightning-fast killer that could ambush prey before they had a chance to react. If you encountered one of these creatures, you wouldn't stand a chance. But even if you avoided the predators, herbivores wouldn't be your friends either. The plant-eating dinosaurs of the Jurassic period were walking tanks that could crush, impale, or trample you without even noticing. Stegosaurus, with its spiked tail, could break bones in a single hit. Triceratops? Think of a rhino on steroids with horns capable of piercing solid rock. And let's not forget Diplodocus, which grew up to 90 feet long. You'd be nothing more than an insect to a creature that size. If one of these dinosaurs started stampeding, you'd be flattened in seconds. But let's say somehow you managed to avoid getting eaten or trampled. How would you find food? The bad news. Almost nothing humans eat today existed in the Jurassic period. There were no fruits, no vegetables, no grains, just ancient, unrecognizable plants. Some scientists believe early versions of ginkgo trees had fruit-like seeds, but they smelled like rotting flesh. So, unless you had an iron stomach, good luck keeping that down. A possible food source? Dinosaur eggs. But you wouldn't be the only one hunting for them. Other predators would be watching, and the mother might not take too kindly to you stealing her future hatchlings. Your next option? Fishing. The shallow waters of Jurassic lakes and rivers were filled with life, but also prehistoric sea monsters. Enter Liopleurodon, a 50-foot-long marine predator with 7-inch teeth. This thing was faster, stronger, and deadlier than any modern shark. If you so much as dipped your foot in the water, you could be dragged under in seconds. Even the smaller sea creatures wouldn't be safe to eat. Parasites and unknown bacteria would turn every meal into a deadly gamble. Speaking of parasites, the environment itself would try to kill you. The Jurassic period was home to giant insects and terrifying spiders. Ever heard of Nephilia jurassica? This ancient spider wove five-foot-wide webs strong enough to trap small dinosaurs. 
Scientists don't know if it was venomous, but do you really want to find out? And let's not forget about disease. Modern humans have no immunity to Jurassic bacteria and viruses. A single sip from a river could infect you with unknown prehistoric parasites. Even a small cut could lead to an infection that modern medicine couldn't cure. But let's assume you're insanely lucky. You've survived the predators, the toxic plants, the giant spiders, and the deadly bacteria. Could you adapt and build a civilization? Maybe. But it wouldn't be easy. Fire would be difficult in the humid Jurassic air. Metal tools? Useless. High humidity and constant exposure to the elements would cause rapid rusting. Even if you brought a knife or spear from modern times, it would be worthless within weeks. That means no metal weapons, no armor, and no reliable way to hunt large prey. Your best chance? Finding a remote, isolated area where dinosaurs rarely roam. But even then, you'd be fighting for survival every single day. So, what's the final verdict? Could humans survive the Jurassic period? If you were alone, not a chance. You'd be dead within days. Even in a large group, our chances wouldn't be great. The air, the water, the predators, and the plants, everything would be against us. The Jurassic era wasn't just dangerous. It was an entirely different world, one that humans were never meant to survive in. But here's the real question. Could dinosaurs come back to our world? Believe it or not, scientists are trying. At Harvard University, geneticists are working on reviving the woolly mammoth using ancient DNA. Some researchers believe that with enough advancements, we might even bring back dinosaurs. But should we? History has shown us that humans and apex predators don't mix well. If dinosaurs returned, would we be the hunters or the hunted? Let me know in the comments. Do you think you could survive in the Jurassic period? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more insane what-if scenarios, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Until next time, stay safe and be glad you weren't born 200 million years ago.